Hey everybody, we're back again with a uh, an unboxing video. Um, I don't think, or if I have done one, it's been a very, very long time that I've done an unboxing of uh, comics on uh, my channel. Uh, this is uh, an accumulation of stuff that I've gotten off of eBay, off Instagram, off of... Uh, um, trades and things, um, including, um, I guess it's a trade and an act of kindness from, uh, Fool Killer 5150. Um, I already cut most of these open, um, so we didn't spend the whole video going through, uh, pulling tape off and stuff. So let me just, uh, grab something real quick. And uh, we'll get started. You can always use this. All right. Everything's in focus. You would have thought I would have had all that set up before, but nope, I don't do things that way. All right, so this first book I got off of eBay. Um, I wanted to get a copy of this for a little while, and uh, I got this copy for seven bucks uh, plus shipping. Um, it is Firestorm, uh, the Nuclear Man number one. Um, if that was a Marvel character, God knows how much that would be. Maybe like a forty or fifty, sixty dollar book. Next up, um, I got actually two packages from Schoon's Comics. Um, if you had seen his, I think it was his last video, he grabbed uh, like a crazy amount of copies of this book uh, off of uh, eBay. And I had sent him a um, a DC Universe variant the other day, and he asked me if I wanted a Green Lantern, one of these Green Lantern ones that he grabbed, um, first Kyle Rayner on cover. When I sent him the picture to say thank you, he noticed that it wasn't the, uh, the DC Universe variant, so not only did he send me that, he then turned around and sent me the DC Universe variant. So, Thanks, Brian. Uh, Brian's one of the nicest guys uh, you'll never meet. Um, he's just uh, he's just a class act, and uh, I appreciate that very much, Brian. Thanks, uh, guys. Give him a, a sub if you're not already. Uh, the Schoons Comics. Um, next, I got this off of eBay. Um, I think it was like ten bucks shipped. Um, the Peanuts Treasury. The cover's, you know, got some issues, but it's going to be a pretty cool read, I think, um, if you're a Charlie Brown fan. And I was a big fan of the uh, the Charlie Brown specials as I, as I was a, when I was a kid, the Snoopy and Charlie Brown stuff. All right. Next up, I got... Oh, this is a cool one. Uh, Queen of the Vampires, number seven... Um, I have a couple of the other issues. I did not have that one. That cover is really cool. Um, see if I can get closer so you guys can get a better look at that. So I really like that cover. I think that's really cool. Um, next up, what do we got here? Ah, uh, this, um... I showed this on my Instagram. Uh, I've been after one of these um, complete for a long time, one that I can afford. It's not 100% complete because there's a piece missing from the cover, but all the pages are here. Um, it's Tales from the Crypt number uh, number 36. I paid a $102 for that on eBay 
So very cool. One of the uh, better books that I've picked up in a while. So super stoked to have that. Just gonna plug something in too real quick. Just gonna add some ambiance, if you will. There we go. Nice. So super, super duper happy about this book. Haven't read it yet. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine down the flea market who runs a stand. He asked me if I had read it yet. And uh, I told him I'm going to probably read it online. Had, um, I just don't want to, I don't want to wreck it more than it already is. It's about a 3.0 copy, maybe. 3.5, probably 3.0. All right, what do we got? Didn't fully remove all the tape off of this one. Let's see if I can just pull it out of here without getting all the tape off. Here we go. Aha, uh -huh. another, another uh, type of book that was on my want list for a very long time. I would have liked a, uh, a Mickey cover or a Donald Duck cover, um, but this is still very, very cool. Um, a copy of Mickey Mouse Magazine, Volume 4, Number 7, from 1939. Um, I've wanted one of these, and um, if you know what they are, you know that they're really expensive. Um, can't remember how much I paid for this. Um, I think it was 40 bucks shipped. Um, really, really stoked to get this as well. Uh, this and, and this are like two of the, my most favorite uh, pickups that I've had in a while. Maybe even better than most of the stuff I grabbed uh, in, in over a year, I think. All right, I'm um, getting through these packages pretty quickly. Uh, what is this? What is this? Huh. Um. Oh, okay. This next package I got, uh, from... I bought this, God, maybe before Christmas from, um, Why Not Art, uh, for Instagram. He has some sales occasionally, and uh, he had some books that I wanted. I bought these so long ago that I, I actually forgot what's in here, so I'm kind of find, we're finding out uh, together what's here. Let me see, where's my knife? Forgot to take the painter's tape off. Let's see. All right. So I've been trying to grab some of these on the cheap um, because I have a, a Walmart display um, that, that I want to put these in. So I'm going back to get a couple of these, of these 100-page giants from Walmart. So I got the, the Teen Titans one off of him. We got Wonder Woman, number four, the 100 page giant. We got the Flash, number four, 100 page giant. And Titans, number three, 100 pager. So I'm gonna just get a bunch of those and uh, fill up the the display, if you've seen those, these things in Walmart, you know what I'm talking about. Not that, not this little blue box here, but the uh, the bigger box that had all of those in. So I'm gonna find a spot for that and down here with all the other things that I have. I also got from him, Infinite Crisis number five, the George Perez cover, and a Batman Adventures 12 reprint from uh, one of those comic type box things. 
And then I just got two more books from him. Uh, this this um, lenticular cover for Hawkeye. Um, grab that. The Hawkeye Disney Plus series is really cool. Um, it was still on when I uh, grabbed that. And then last, I got a, um, a nice copy. I have this already, but uh, it was pretty cheap. So I said, you know, I'm going to just grab this from him to, to fill out the hall. Just because Bronze Age is becoming the new silver and silver is becoming the new gold. Uh, Warlock number 13. So thank you, Tony, uh, very much for those. I appreciate it. And then what do we got here? We got some books from Midtown Comics. I think they were having another sale. Um, their sales are not really sales, in my opinion. Um, but I did grab a couple of things. got Mouse Guard, I got, I got a surprisingly cool book actually from uh, Midtown, but we got Exciting Comics number three, Introducing Mary Miracle, the takeoff on Mary Marvel, I finished up my uh, um, Frank Cho fight, uh, what the hell is this called? Um, I only read the first issue. Now, Fight Girls. Now I'm going to go back and, and read two through five. I grabbed two copies of She-Hulk number one. The Adam Hughes cover. And then... This was a buck. Um, Wonder Woman number 51. This was another surprisingly cheap book. Um, I gotta bag this up. But uh, Looney Tunes number 245 um, with the Pepe Le Pew cover. You know, it's only a matter of minutes before someone gets offended by Pepe Le Pew and he's gone as well. Again, got some Perillo that I didn't have. There's a uh, Vengeance of Vampirella number 24. I actually did have this, but this was like a dollar, so I wasn't going to leave that. Then I got a Red Sonia black and white number two, um, a virgin variant uh, black and white. And then I grabbed some issues of Thor, the current run that I did not have. Um, number 15. Number 17, Variant. And then number 19, Cover C Variant. Did not have those. And then I bought a Golden Age book uh, on there. And in addition to it being a Golden Age book, it has the bags all ripped. I don't know how that happened. But it has Frank Vizetta art in there. Um, so this is Heroic Comics number 86. It's in really nice shape. Uh, from 1953. And let's see. There's the Frizetta stuff. Let me see if I can. Yeah, here we go. First couple pages are Frank Frizetta and there is his signature there so this was a uh, pretty cool find on midtown comics of all places they're not really known for their back issues i think i just typed in frazetta on a search on there and that book popped up so we just got uh, two packages left I bought this off of uh, Instagram. 
This is um, something I, I bought strictly for the cover. Um, and then when I bought this, I saw that there were cheaper covers on, uh, on eBay, but what are you gonna do? Um, I bought from this seller before, so I'm just happy to get in some, get some more business. Um, Brian Palato's uh, Lady Death, The Wicked, uh, number one. There was something about this cover I liked. So um, I grabbed that. All right. Last um, last bit was a. I sent some stuff to Fool Killer Fifty One Fifty. He's on Instagram. Uh, he was not much. Um, he was really big on YouTube for a while. He's one of the first uh, people I met through YouTube. Um, we did a couple of trades, and then we. We stayed in touch over the years. Um, we text each other occasionally, call each other occasionally, talk you know talk about stuff. Um, he's a really nice guy. Um, I sent him just some some things that didn't fit in my collection anymore. Some Yankee stuff. Uh, he's a big Yankee fan as well, and uh, he sent me back some amazing things um, unexpectedly. Uh, he sent me this. It's got a bunch of uh, Captain America like stationery in here. Um, deluxe note card set. So I like this. This is pretty neat. I like the case that it's in. So we got that. He sent me this uh, fan ring day. Um, pretty Yankees. So I'll that's pretty neat. And then he also sent me this Derek Jeter um, keychain. So that was really cool. He um, sent me a couple of years ago uh, a Natalie Sanders um, autograph. And he had forgotten to send me the certificate of authenticity. And it was kind of a back and forth kind of joke. Did he still have it? Does he still have it? And he finally got around to sending me the, uh, the certificate of authenticity. He knows that I'm, I'm trying to pick up issues of uh, Shadowland. Um, so he sent me this, uh, this second print variant. Uh, he sent me Shadowland, Blood in the Streets, issue number three. He sent me some Defenders issues from my run, number 94, number 59, number 19, nice copy of number 19 actually. I love the, uh, the Wrecking Crew as well. Um, and then number 63. So I made a nice little, getting closer to finishing up that Defenders run. I just need some of the earlier issues now. And he also sent me some Captain Americas that I did not have. Uh, Cap 229. Cap 215. A placeholder copy of 219. 249, 293, 341. And then he asked me if I had a copy of Moon Knight number one. I told him that I did not. And uh, he sent me, it's a lower to mid-grade copy. Uh, he had an extra one of that he's upgraded. Um, so he, he sent this to me as well. Thank you very much, Stephen. Um, and then he sent me just some other random Yankee things. Uh, Jabba Chamberlain on the cover of ESPN, the magazine. And then an issue of Tough Stuff. Beckett, Tough Stuff, back in the day, if you were a baseball card collecting guy, uh, these were your staple. And then uh, if you were a comic book guy, it was uh, Wizard Magazine and 
Toy Biz magazine as well. Magazines for the hobby stuff is kind of gone these days. But uh, that's it. That took care of that giant uh, stack of stuff in 20 minutes. Uh, thanks again, uh, Steve and, and uh, Brian and everybody else that I've got stuff from, Tony. And um, until next time, take care.